Energy transfer is a sort of exclusive perk that will grant your class ability energy when you receive damage while guarding. It has been a while since I visited this perk. I like it a lot, but unfortunately the swords that can roll with the perk aren't in-game viable in my opinion. Here are the swords that can roll with energy transfer. Falling guillotine used to be a really good sword option in a lot of activities, but it has fallen short after numerous nerfs. Since energy transfer can constantly feed us class ability energy, we can take advantage of that by using double dynamos on the helmet and double distributions on the class item to feed into a super. With the 4 mods equipped, we can have a small chunk of super energy whenever we use the class ability near an enemy. But there is an obvious problem. We can't keep guarding with our swords. Even if we could with Eternity's Edge, we don't have enough healing and resistance to keep ourselves alive, and the sword energy drains whenever we take damage. Here's where the exotic stronghold comes in. It maximizes guard stats on swords. With it on, guarding or blocking damage will not drain any sword energy, and we get some pretty good damage resistance when guarding. We can also throw in perfect guards to heal ourselves when necessary, which is blocking shots immediately after we started guarding the sword. Something important to note, the more damage you take, the more energy you gain. On the right, I have 100 resilience, which is a 40% damage reduction, as well as whisper of chains for another 50% DR, while on the left, no damage reduction was used. This is not something you should take into high difficulty activities, but rather something to have fun in mid and maybe low level content, because swords that can roll with a perk generally can't do as well as other weapons, and you're wasting a lot of energies on dynamo and distribution mods. 